grand rising, good day, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars tarot. We're going to go ahead and give Odin something to eat. Just a little treat, of course. He does have real meals, y'all. Don't freak out. All right. Let's go ahead and pull a little bit of Oracle. Let's see what Spirit would like you all to know. Now, before I hit record, um, Spirit was telling me something about a cat. I don't know if... Um, um, I was getting a couple messages. For some of you, there is a cat that has recently showed up around your door, around your property. Like, it wasn't your pet cat, but now is kind of going to become your pet cat or you're considering. I got the energy of this is a familiar spirit that has came to you in the body of a cat. Someone else also... Um, your grandmother or your great grandmother sends you messages, um, through cats, something about cats in the smell of cinnamon. I don't know what that was like, um, like cinnamon and apple or cider or spice that may be like a, a kind of candle you like, or a kind of candle that your grandmother liked. I don't know. I was getting something about the smell of cinnamon and something about a cat, okay? Now, for some of you, I believe that there was a um, a message that your grandmother sends you spirits with cats, something to do with cats. That's how your grandmother likes to send you little synchronicities or signs. And then, um, like I said, someone else, there's a familiar spirit that has um, showed up randomly at your doorstep in the form of a little kitty. And the kitty is a familiar spirit. It's like a new guide that came to uh, be a part of your journey for a little while. So that's pretty cool. I wanted to share that with you all. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with this reading then. Oh my goodness. What was all that? Oh, wow. Um, you may intuitively know that... Someone that's been trying to get you caught up in some kind of web. You may intuitively know that the season of them being in your life is about to come to an end. You may have been getting like, um, like really like, uh, dark flashes or like um images of imagery like of energy that's not that pleasant or great and you knew it had something to do with this individual i'm getting that this is an individual you know of you know who this person is and you know that they have been sending like energy to attack you and you know that they've been running around trying to be your enemy wow yeah um I'm getting that there's going to be some kind of karma with this individual. I had picked up on an energy in a recent reading about something to do with a, a vehicle or a car accident or like damage to a mode of transportation. And what I was getting was that someone um, was projecting a lot of energy towards someone in the collective, hoping that you would... Um, either get into a really bad accident or something would happen. And then the way that the energy was manifesting at that time was like um, uh, random damages in your vehicle, or maybe there was almost an accident, but not quite an accident, or there was an accident, but you were okay. Um, I'm getting the energy of the, the karma for this individual is someone that they care about is, is going to get in an accident. And I, I, that sucks. It, it, it sucks that their karma is going to affect someone else. But it kind of has to be this way in a way because they don't value their own life. They don't value their self. So like if the energy were to just come back and hit them, they wouldn't fucking care. They would just continue to hate themselves and hate you. They wouldn't learn anything. 
So I'm getting that this person is either going to get some kind of upsetting news or something. It's going to be a, like a, a bit of a scare. Like, I don't know if it's going to happen right in front of this person, but something's going to happen um, and this person's going to be right there to witness it. And it's not going to be them. It's going to be someone they care about, unfortunately. I don't see that the individual is going to get hurt. I see it more so as being like a wake up call. So I don't see it being like... Um, anything too extreme you know I, I feel like everyone's gonna walk away with their lives still but it is definitely a little bit of like a kiss of death of an of a, someone close by and this is a warning this is a strong warning now unfortunately I don't feel that this individual is bright enough or whatever to really piece it all together and realize what's going on and to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities i hope this individual stops what they're doing because i see that there is more on the way um for some of you this individual is going to be leaving because they got caught up in another they got they got dragged into another investigation. They were part of another crime. Something about a cell phone. Authorities have gotten a hold of a cell phone that has things that are incriminating and link this individual to that. Okay. So it seems like a part of this message is letting you know that uh, an enemy has AAA eclipsed out your life. Or there's some kind of backfire or shitstorm brewing. Yeah. I'm getting real strong about someone's intuition is telling them though. Like you've had like a real heavy feeling in your stomach. Or you've gotten like images or flashes of not that pleasant energy. Or just like you felt it. You felt something was coming. But you knew it wasn't coming for you, but you like you're sensitive, so you still feel it. And it's it's karma. It's a backfire for what this individual was messing with. Because for some of you, this individual straight up was like trying to cook up some evil in your life. Hmm. Okay. What else would you like the collective to know? Um, I'd just gotten the information, like, uh, not the information, I'd just gotten the sensation like I was about to choke and cry, like I can't talk. So I don't know if that, I feel like that's going to be the energy of this individual that's been sending attacks or energy to you. I don't know what's going to happen. And this might have something to do with that accident or something that I sense coming. Um, for someone around them, like I, I'm really kind of getting like the energy of like you literally watch someone you care about back out the driveway and almost get taken out by a truck. Like right there, like it's the images that spirit were showing me were really strong, um, like wake up calls, like in a, in a split second, they could have lost someone they cared about right then and there and they seen it they recognized it and like it's one of those things where like you know when something happens and you know something had to cause that 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 wasn't just like a random occurrence that wasn't like a coincidence that wasn't normal you felt the energy behind it you felt there was some kind of influence to cause that event to occur i am getting very strong that both individuals i'm getting like a feminine and a masculine um, I'm kind of getting that the feminine is the one that's been sending the energy and the masculine is an energy that she is connected to and she might witness something almost happen to this individual. For some of you, this is also karma for something that this individual did when they found out that you had gotten it in some kind of um, something. Like they found out that you had gotten ill or they found out that you had gotten injured or they found out that um, something had happened at work. They celebrated this. They thought this was a victory. They thought that this meant their spell work was working. That was an illusion. And they're about to get a lot of karma and it's going to backfire on them. Yeah, serpent spell. Look at that. 
Someone is about to get caught up in their own shit show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just there, there's, there's a dark energy coming back for someone, and it, it's because like whatever they were sending out is coming right back to them. You look at that. Summon the Reaper. I'm telling you, someone did, someone tried to send out some kind of death spell or some kind of death magic, um, and it's, it's backfiring, and they're about to witness someone they care about have a near-death experience or have a close encounter. Yeah, okay. What else? I'm getting like that, that like... I feel like the the way this is going to happen is it's going to be so obvious. It like it's almost like the the universe or your ancestors or spirit or something whatever is kind of like behind the scenes pulling the energy of all this this little story or show to play out for this karmic's life. It's like um hmm. It's all right. So like they're going to make sure that it, the event plays out in a way to where like this person's going to know be out of like without a doubt it's their fault this happened. I don't know how that's going to happen, but this individual when they witness this happen, they're going that's why I felt that like like I was going to cry and I couldn't talk and I had a lump in my throat like what can you like I, I can you imagine like you seeing someone you care about almost die because of your selfishness and your hate. And you know it's because of that. And for some of you, I'm also kind of getting that the individual that might get in this accident or this uh, male energy or masculine energy that I'm sensing that might act almost like get hurt or in an accident right in front of this karmic feminine energy. I'm getting that this masculine energy doesn't even know that this feminine has been spending time. Is she doing this while he's gone? So is this an ex? I don't know. I'm getting the energy of like this feminine secretly hates on you or secretly does something with her time and money that someone that she's connected to doesn't actually know about. So that's part of this like guilt that I'm sensing this individual is going to feel when they witness this a uh, karma or this event uh, take place like it's going to be weird like I, I, I don't know what it is but it's going to be like let's say this individual just got done submitting her letter of how she wanted a spell to be done to a practitioner or something like I don't know I don't know how this shit works I don't do this dumb shit but i sense the energy but like let's say for example in her letter to the practitioner she was like i want a red semi truck on tuesday to rear end them and flip them up and then like on tuesday she steps outside and a red semi truck almost wipes out so she's like oh my gosh I like she she's gonna know that she witnessed her own spell or her own money for a spell coming back right in her face and then almost taking out someone that she cares about. Look again, we've seen that Medusa energy twice. We've seen that serpent spell and then Medusa energy. So yeah, there's some kind of um yeah, look, lost soul. This is This is sad and unfortunate. You may have wished something. Maybe you have wished what was best. You may have wished them love. You may have wished them like grace or mercy or something. I'm kind of getting that because of your heart, because of your love, that's the only reason why the individual that's about to have a near death experience or a kiss with death is only getting a smooch. I'm really getting that. I'm kind of getting like you ate up some of that energy. You transmuted some of the darkness that was sent to you. So like I'm getting like someone sent a really dark, nasty energy to you. Um, your ancestors and spirit, you're already protected. But let's say some of it still manifested in your life. You ate that shit like it was breakfast. 
you transmuted that into a, a lovely, sweet little cupcake for yourself. And then the rest of the energy got sent back. Fortunately for the individual, you ate up some of that energy. Because if you hadn't ate up that energy, and I'm getting that you transmuted the energy with love. You still had love in your heart for whoever was responsible. Like you didn't, you didn't retaliate. You didn't say return to sender times 10 with hate and the same energy. Like no, you just kind of handled it with love. And because of that, a, a, a life gets to be spared. I'm really getting that. Like because of your your spiritual power, because you're a powerful alchemist, you're very um, adept at transmuting darkness into light. And I'm getting that this is not like the first attempt. This is like this person has been trying, like trying, trying, trying. And they're really they're lucky. Honestly, they're lucky they sent this shit to you. Because if they would have sent it to someone else and the whole energy would have just hit them dead on, then that person would have died and they would have had a life on their hands. I'm sure that person would have felt like that was a victory. But believe me, it's not a victory to have a life on your hands by any means. That's a big loss. Okay? Um, or let's say that they sent the energy to someone and the energy just completely went back like that individual didn't transmute any of it they didn't turn any of it into love the full effect of that energy went right back to them they would have witnessed someone die but because you ate up a good like 20 to 30 percent of that hate of that evil of that darkness and you transmuted a good bit of that with the love you have before the leftovers of that energy got sent back a life was spared but this individual is still going to witness Life and death before their eyes. Because that's what they've been wishing upon you. And since they don't care about themselves enough, it wouldn't make any sense for spirit to throw it right back in their face because they'd be like, you're doing me a favor. I'm miserable and I hate my life anyways. That's why I'm doing this shit. So, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of getting like... And, and for some of you, like this might literally be like... Your ancestors have been, like for some of you, this ain't for everyone, but for some of you, you've got ancestors that were waiting, like waiting to have this person's head. And it's only because of your will or your command or your integrity or your intentions that they are choosing to step down and allow you to play this out your way. Because if they had it their way, they ass would have been grass. It had been done, done off with the head like i'm really getting like I, i'm getting because of your mercy your love your grace a life was spared and it didn't necessarily have to be the energy that i'm feeling like what this person was doing what they were messing with what they were intending i'm getting that like ancestors and some kind of spiritual energy was not having that shit and they were ready to come back with the same kind of energy but it was because of your heart because of your heart. And this is beautiful. It is. This is a win. You're safe. An innocent individual who would have been, you know, victimized by someone else's evil. I mean, you could say guilty by association or whatever. But I'm really getting the energy of the individual that was that's going to be hit by this karma doesn't even fully know what this individual does to you. They don't even know how much this individual really spends their time and money and energy hating on you. Like, I'm kind of getting the energy of, like, this person almost lives a double life. Like, if this is their partner, they wait till their partner goes to work and then they get online and chat with their, like, online Etsy witches or some shit. Like, I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's weird. Angel of Rose coming out reverse. It's like, oh, uh, this individual is scorned. And they can't let it go. Yeah, well, they keep fucking around and they about to find out with this trick-or-treat card. It, it's looking like, you know, by by your grace, by your command, they're they're allowed to let live for another day. But your like, ancestors are still going to show some teeth, you know? Like, I mean, it's like the, 
the dog that doesn't take the hint at the pound near the food bowl and eventually one of the dogs has to put the teeth on the back of that dog's neck. They didn't chomp down, they didn't draw blood, but they let that dog know, I'm in control, I hold the power, you better back the fuck up off my food bowl. So, um, because you have mercy, their teeth won't sink in, it won't break skin, it won't bleed, it won't paralyze them, it won't hurt them, but they're still going to be put into some form of submission. Damn. All right. Whew, I was not expecting this heavy of an energy to come through. I'm glad you guys are okay. Look at that. The first card I split to is Truth and Justice, 10, Weighing of the Hearts. There is some kind of judgment that's going on here. And someone's about to experience some despair and loss. I feel like this is going to cause this individual to spiral a little bit. But what concerns me is how narcissistic this individual is. I'm scared that they're going to spiral and use this as fuel to try to attack you even more. And at that point, they might lose their life or someone that they care about. So I really hope that they, they take this um, little kiss on the neck from death and they realize, like, you better stop what you're doing. Because we don't play around here. I, I'm getting that. Someone's got some very powerful ancestors that are just fed up. I feel like they're fed up. Like, I feel like they, they've been begging you almost. Like, please, just give me the word. Just say it's okay. Just ask me to get a lick in for you. Just give me the word, please. And you're like, no, no, no. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Let's love. Let's just transmute it. Let's give it back to source. Let's... And I mean, you know, your answers are like, shit, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, you're doing better than I would have, kid, because if I was down there, and I know, oh well, shit, you know what, maybe that's why I'm still <laughs> bound in this realm right now, but, alright, we'll do it your way, we'll do it your way, we'll do it your way, but, um, bet your ass, number seven, death and endings, mm -hmm. destruction of chaos, I'm getting that, so this is a huge, like, turn of events, I'm I'm so sorry that this individual ever thought it was going to be okay to be your enemy. And I, I really hope the people that are around this individual are going to be okay. We've got security coming out here. We have healing. Wow. That was that was really strong. Um, someone who is responsible in some kind of way for these energies and attacks being sent your way is losing their eyesight or something is going on with their eyesight. What I got was like an ancestor was kind of like, you know, it, it basically it collaborated two scriptures. It was like the eye for an eye thing. And then, which is anyways, not getting into that, but um, the eye for an eye thing, but then also the, the other part where it was like better to lose your eye than damn your soul if you can't resist the temptation. So it's like a little bit of both. It's like shit. If you want to keep fucking around with death because you can't, you can't handle the temptation of having that, um, perception, we'll just take the ability for you to even perceive it away from you. Um, I'm getting like spiritual lobotomy, y'all. Like, like, I, I don't, this is such a serious energy. Like, you remember how they used to handle thieves back in the day? You just lost your fucking hand. You shouldn't have been touching something that wasn't yours. I'm getting, like, old law kind of energy, like, blood for blood. Like, I, I, someone's ancestor is not fucking playing. And I'm kind of getting like, for some of you, you got some ancestors that are still kind of in like that trickster shadow kind of energy. So they might have like compromised with your heart and your mercy and all, but they still got one in in some way or another. They just didn't go all the way like they wanted to. Like I said, spiritual lobotomy. Like maybe they really wanted to come off with their freaking head, but instead they just did a little snip snip in their brain. So something don't work the same no more. Like someone lost their gifts. Someone lost a connection. Someone's um, receptors to dopamine are like destroyed. 
this person will never experience pleasure again. They're doomed to basically selling their body to the pleasures of the flesh to even experience joy anymore because they've been cut off from source. What the fuck? It's like doomed to sin to even feel anything. Damn. Death and death and endings is serious. This is really interesting. I'm getting like... Oh, yeah. And this reminds me of a download that I'd like... I, I mentioned that for some of you, you are your ancestor's ancestor incarnated. <laughs> and I know that's kind of funny to say or think about that way. But I really do get that energy from some of y'all. It's like you are the ancestor incarnated. And uh, your ancestors, you're really their ancestor. And the role has been flipped in this incarnation. I was kind of getting the energy in my head of like, and this was like in spirit realm, but like I was imagining, all right, so imagine like um, a, a mom with several kids, all right? She, she's got like four boys and four daughters, you know, and they love her. They love mama. Don't fuck with mama, okay? You can, They could talk shit about my mama, but like no one else could talk shit about their mama, like that kind of energy. And I'm getting the energy of, like, you're such a sweet, loving, admired, appreciated individual, and someone disrespected you. And not only did they disrespect you, but they were warned, they were checked, and it's like, you know, maybe maybe the, the eldest son was like, hey man, keep my mama's name out your mouth for I blah, 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 you know, and, and then mama was like, all right, all right, calm down, calm down, it's fine, it's fine, it's cool, just walk away, cool your head, like... Trying to tell the son, like, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll be okay. And then eventually, like, the eldest son's like, nah, you disrespected mama. I'm gonna get your ass. And then, like, plotting, 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 plotting behind mama's back that he's gonna get his lick back because so-and-so done disrespected his mama. I'm getting that kind of energy, but this is like your ancestors. This is spirit. You're that sweet, loving, caring, nurturing sweetheart. Everyone admires, everyone appreciates, you've you've helped them so much, and you've done it with love, you've done it with grace, so it's like, of course they're going to have your back, of course they're going to look out for you, but you liberate, like, they've been bound by shit, and you freed them, I mean, for some of you, it's as simple as, like, you know, just equal energy, like, I, I owe you in a way. So I, I got to have your back. I got to ride for you. Because when I was down and I was out and I was bound, you liberated and freed me. You cleared out the karma and overcame the shit that I couldn't and didn't. And had been stuck here waiting for someone to do so. So like it, you know, there is an equal give and take here. And for some of this energy, like, some, some spirits are taking this equal give and take, like, pretty pretty seriously. Like, they're not effing around. Like, they like for some of you, like I said, there's, there's some that are still in that, like, shadow trickster energy. So, they may not have came back home with their head like they wanted to because they respected your heart and your wishes. But they might have came back with an eye. <laughs> abundance all right so now that that's out the way geez can we like clear that energy we've got this abundance coming in two five and seven are variable energies here okay so what else is going on we've got a little bit of like all right spirit handling your light work for you and a, a man was allowed to live because of your mercy and the love in your heart but the karma really was for someone to lose their life i'm serious like that was such a heavy energy Okay, Eight of Cups, Reverse, and then Three of Cups. Okay, so the uh, celebration is no one's going to be able to come after your abundance. You are safe. You are protected. You have enemies that are being removed from your life, so that way you can continue to build and grow and continue on your mission. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like spiritual pesticide. 
like your spirit's freaking baby garden like oh my gosh do not mess with you know spirit's garden all right and if i see a little rodent over there munching on my leaves i'm gonna beat your ass if i see some bugs on it i'm gonna spray it down like i'm, I'm getting like your spirit's garden and ain't no one allowed to come munch on your fruits or chew on your leaves or none of that. No. So there's no pests. There's no pesticides. There's no rabbits. There's no rodents. There's none of that. No, none of that is munching off a spirit's little garden. You are to continue to blossom and flourish and sprout and root and branch out and be abundant and multiply. Mm -hmm. It was funny. Spirit gave me like a play on words. It was like we're separating the canes from the apples. Because I was talking about a garden. Anyways, we've got this Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. You are Spirit's Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to be your enemy. That's for sure. Whew. Uh, this is a good thing. You've got a lot of love in your heart. You got this Seven of Pentacles. It's telling you. It's been like a, it's been a matter of time. Like I'm really getting like, there's, there's teeth that want blood. They've been waiting on, they've been waiting for this. Like, please let me add them. Ten of swords. What am I? I can't, I can't make this shit up. I'm not making this shit up y'all. Like I, I'm really feeling this energy for how it is. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. Anything else you would like the collective to know? Uh, lights out. <laughs> lights out. Tower at the bottom of the deck. Just seen the moon over here. Uh, we've got this past energy. We've. It's basically like a spirit got something for their ass. Like straight up. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I seen what you did. Oh, I heard what you said. Oh, I was in that room with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep on. Keep on. I got something for you. Like I'm really getting like someone's about to slide. Someone's about to get got. Like it, it's a spiritual drive by y'all. Holy crap. Spirit about to handle your ops. Okay. Okay. All right. Better recognize. <laughs> Why? This is like some real spiritual gangster kind of energy too. Like, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. All right. It's like, I, I don't warn you. You lucky I let you live. <sighs> All right. Ace of Pentacles, again, with the abundance. So, all that energy aside, as much as I am feeling there's a, there's a bit of a, a hungry energy in spirit realm right now that really wants to come through and tell you how much they're going to get that ass and, you know, tear them a new one and get that lick back. But I'm going to just uh, acknowledge that energy. We've already addressed it. I'm not going to keep channeling that energy. Thank you for what you're doing. And, um, yeah, we're going to just rebuke that and move on. And just know that you have a lot of protection going on. And <laughs> shit's getting handled. Shit's getting done. Like I said, this is like a, um, yeah. Okay. All right. So now that all of this has been handled, this has been settled, um, you're just free to go. <laughs> just, you're free to go. Just carry on. Like, we'll, we'll handle your light work. This is nonsense. You don't need to entertain this bullshit. You just keep being what you are. Be spirits, little garden. Keep growing. Keep being abundant. Keep being fruitful. Keep multiplying. Okay? Keep pollinating. Spreading around. All right? Spread your light. Spread your love. Let's continue to grow um, God's kingdom on earth. I'm really getting this is like your, your spirit's favorite little fruit of God's kingdom. And something tried to break into spirit's garden and try to munch on its produce. And spirit's going to go handle that shit. Okay? So you just stay there and you maintain being a fruit. Okay, let spirit handle all the, the heebie-jeebies and the monsters and the, everything else that seems like it don't value its life. Because let me tell you, it's, they 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 going to learn something pretty strong. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you on the next collective message.